How's everyone doing? I'm back here again for a new video. And in this video, I'm showing off everything that I got for Christmas. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and a happy holiday. I hope that you were able to spend it with your family and your friends. Um, but also, if you unfortunately had to spend the holidays alone, which I know a lot of people have to, then I hope that you were able to get some joy out of your day. You know, I know that the holidays are a hard time for a lot of people. Um, not just you know, not just buying for people because I know that it's, I know that with prices and everything, it's a lot harder for people to buy stuff for people. But just the fact that some people don't have families that they can go to um, and they are alone, you know, I know that the holidays are kind of a hard time for a lot of people. So if you are someone who did spend it alone, then I hope that you were able to uh, get some joy and some comfort out of your day. Um, but anyway guys, like I said, um, this is going to be my Christmas update. I've got a lot of cool stuff to show off. Um, I'm not going to be showing off everything that I got. Um, I'm just going to be showing off the stuff that I think you guys would like to see. I did get a few other cool things. Um, but uh, yeah guys, I got some pretty cool stuff to show off. I Not a lot of movies. I actually only got one movie. Um, but I also got a really cool autograph, um, some metal shirts, and something really, really cool that I'm saving until till the end. It's a really awesome, unique item, and I'm really looking forward to showing it off. Uh, so yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to show off, I got from my buddy Tony. Every year on Christmas, we always go to my mom's boyfriend's friend's parents' house. Um, I know it's kind of a lot um, to say, but... Uh, we always uh, go there for Christmas dinner, and then after dinner, we always um, we always exchange gifts. And um, my buddy Tony, um, you know, he knows that I love horror movies, so he's always looking out uh, for really awesome stuff. And um, this isn't everything that he got me. Um, I also got a uh, a nice red um, long sleeve, which is really nice. And there was something else that we did this year that was kind of cool. We did this thing called like a, a secret gift where basically after everybody was done opening their gifts um they then passed around a a black bag that had these like uh, little gifts in the box that were basically stuff they did they just found in stores and they wrapped them and um basically you just uh you know you put your hand down there without looking and then you pulled out whatever uh was in there and i ended up pulling out an a uh our harmonica uh, which is pretty funny um i used to have a harmonica when i was a kid um, but I lost it, of course, years and years ago. So it's kind of funny that I uh, I got a, another one now. Um, I also got a bar of soap, which is really cool. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show off, like I said, is something that uh, my buddy Tony got me. And it is a really cool 4K Blu-ray steelbook. And that is of The Wolfman. And what's really cool about this was this was actually the first a universal monster film I ever saw was the Wolfman. Um, yeah, this was a, a Best Buy exclusive and it's a, it's really nice. I really like the artwork and everything on it. Go ahead and show you guys the front right there. Really, really cool. Then you got the back and I'll go ahead and show off the, uh, the inside as well, just for anyone who hasn't seen it. Take out the 4k and the, and then there is the, uh, the inside artwork right there so yeah really really nice um release uh like i said this was the first uh universal monster film that i ever saw so i'm really happy to now have it in this really nice um 4k and uh blu-ray steelbook so thank you uh tony again if you're watching really appreciate it bud next thing i'm going to show is i'm going to go ahead and show off the uh few t-shirts that i got um, I got a few really cool uh, metal t-shirts. I got all these. I got the first two of these from Hot Topic. Um, I bought one of these for myself. And then my mom's boyfriend, Mike, got me another one. And then my mom found me one. But the first one I got is the one I got for myself. And that is this really awesome Cannibal Corpse. Chaos Horrific. I absolutely love that design. You know, when, you know, when it comes to, you know, for someone like me who just loves, you know, horror movies, gore, blood, and metal... Cannibal Corpse is definitely like one of the best bands when it comes to really awesome, you know, bloody, just really cool artwork. Give you guys a close up of everything because there's so many, so many zombies and just so much stuff to see. So, yeah, 
Really, really awesome. The next one I got is uh, the shirt that my uh, my mom's boyfriend got for me. And that is Slayer. Again, really awesome shirt. You know, you got the uh, the classic Slayer pentagram logo. And then you have the devil right there with the, uh, the flames underneath. Give you guys in there a close-up. Really, really awesome design on this one. And the last shirt is one that my mom found at a local antique store. And that is this really cool Avenged Sevenfold, the stage. Avenged Sevenfold has been one of my favorite bands ever since I was in middle school. And um, I haven't heard the whole album, the stage, but I did see them on tour when they were promoting this at Carolina Rebellion back in 2017. And they did play a few songs from the stage. Um, so yeah, really cool right there. All right, now the next one, uh, next thing I'm going to show off is an autograph, and this is an autograph from one of my favorite Scream Queens, and she was having a sale on her website that if you got a signed print for $50, then you got a um, a documentary about her that she made on DVD, and that Scream Queen is the one and only Heather Langenkamp from Nightmare on Elm Street. And, of course, I got the classic scene of, you know, Freddy's glove coming up between her legs in the, um, in the you know, the bath. And then right there it says, to Cody, don't fall asleep. And then header laying in camp, Nancy. And like I said, guys, if you got a signed print on her website, then she also threw in the documentary I Am Nancy, which is a documentary about, you know, her career and everything. Um, I have not watched this yet, but I'm looking forward to it. It has kind of a cool packaging. You know, there's the disc right there, and there's just a lot of different images. So yeah, guys, looking forward to uh, popping this in. And I thought it was really cool that you know for the holiday she did this really cool uh, sale where if you got a you know a signed print, then you got the documentary. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. Now, the next thing I'm going to show is another gift from my buddy, Tony. And I went ahead and I opened the box up. Um, but it is a... I'll show this side because it's easier to see. This is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre LED shadow light. And uh, basically, um, it's one of those things where if you turn it on, and then um, it has different designs that, um, you know, come out of it. And, it, and it's on your... Um, well, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll turn it on real fast and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. See, as you guys can see, it rotates around. Um, you can't really see it, though. I don't know why it's not rotating. It's weird. Why is it not rotating? Oh. Uh oh, oh, there we go. Okay. See, it rotates around and then you're supposed to see it on the wall. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and see if we can't see it. Of course, it looks a lot better at night, but uh, here we go. Okay. So, yeah, as you can see, you know, you got some bloody handprints. You got Leatherface. Um, says the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You got the chainsaw right there. And then it's who will survive and what will be left of them. And then another Leatherface. So, yeah, just different designs that, you know, go. It, it's easy, It's better if you um if you have this up on, like, a uh, a table or something. You know, because it's supposed to go all the way around your, uh... all right, turn it off. Because it's supposed to go all the way around all the walls and the ceilings. Um, and just, and it just protect, projects light. So, yeah, really cool. Uh, let me go ahead and turn the, uh, turn the light back on. And I'll show it, go ahead and show you guys the last thing I got. But, uh, yeah, like I said, really cool. And the last thing I got, this thing is really cool. This was another gift from my buddy, Tony. And um, he found this guy on Instagram who does a lot of these really cool, um, I forget what they're called, something resin is what it is. It starts with a P, what they're made out of. Um, if I, um, I did message the guy who, uh, who made this and uh, I asked him what it was made out of and he told me and I don't remember what it is. But once I... Once I do, I'll look back in the messages and I'll put in the description what it's called. And I will also leave a link to this guy's Instagram because he makes a lot of these really, really awesome custom horror, um, just 
you know, statues and stuff like that. And this was one of the things that he had. Check this out. This is a Michael Myers mask, like knife. Just look at that. That is just so awesome. So nicely detailed. If you guys a close up, you know, like I said, this is he. This guy just makes these, and uh, he used to sell them. I don't know if he's uh, if he still does or if he's taking orders. I did post this in a Halloween group that I was in, and somebody commented saying, you know, I didn't know that the guy was still taking orders, and. Um, my, uh, my buddy Tony said that he actually ordered this months ago, so I don't know if the guy still um, still makes these uh, and, you know, sells them, but here's the back right there. But the guy's name is The Evil Shed on Instagram. There's the name right there. And uh, then he has a little logo right there. And he also threw in a couple of uh, couple stickers that I'll show. Here you go. Like I said, his name is The Evil Shed. So if you guys want to, you know, check him out on Instagram or anything, go ahead. But yeah, guys, this is just absolutely awesome and awesome piece. I absolutely love it. And I am um, going to be displaying this. I'm probably just going to use one of my plastic book, um, book stands. Um, but I wouldn't mind getting like an actual... Well, I don't know. I guess I guess it depends. I think a book stand will be fine. But yeah, this is just absolutely awesome. I really love the design. And when I opened this up, I was just blown away by it. So yeah, very cool. And like I said, um, the guy makes a lot of really cool stuff. So be sure to check out the Horror Shed on Instagram. And um, once I once I uh, look back in the messages and see what this is made out of, I'll, um, I'll write it down below. Um, because I don't remember it. Something resin is what it's made out of. Um, but anyway, guys, that is pretty much everything that I got for Christmas. Like I said, there were a few other things that I got, but they're not anything that I think that you guys would be interested in seeing. So, like I said again, um, thanks for watching. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and a nice holiday. And I hope that if you are someone who unfortunately has to go through the holidays alone, um, I hope you found at least some joy in your day, you know, but anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. This might be my last video before the new year. I might do one more. Um, it really just depends. Um, I actually do have something coming in the mail and if that comes in, then I'll do a video showing that off, uh, before the end of the year. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, if you guys, uh, want to follow me as always, my, uh, links to my Instagram and my Facebook are down below. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope everybody had a great Christmas. Uh, happy holiday. And uh, like I said, let me know down below uh, what you did uh, for the holidays. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.